wanted to show you my new fact site closure. Thing that site closure needs is the Lewis pack package, which is in Marmalade. And this is the same closure package we have. It's, it's version 3, 1.1, So So we come back here, we pull down the dependencies. This is going to start the, the site closure server. What this is actually doing is actually starting two JVMs, one for the debugger and one for the debugging, which takes twice as long as usual. source. You can see the source as it was defined in the record. So you actually get to see record defined function sources. And uh, with alt n or meta n and meta p you can walk up and down the, the closure stack. It tracks uh, the, the, the location and the, the local speed of stack object. So you walk up. Um, Also, uh, click on or enter on a, on a local value. Uh, it brings up the, the Slayer inspector. You can drill down uh, as long as you want. Uh, go down and come back up again. Just use the quit. And we're back in our stack tree. Uh, you can, as you can see there, it. it um, actually show the, the closure as the, the jar of sources. And we have to restart the first discontinuer, which will cause the, the exception to be thrown within the program. And, this, and the second here is, is abort, which just stops the program execution so it can continue. You can see, uh, see that it uh, actually goes to the next catch point where it's going to be rethrown, so we just hit A for abort. So let's go back to the uh, REPL. Uh, that was an example of um, uh, an, an 
this actually do this right? Let's put in a bunch of the source code. CXP, I can set breakpoint. Okay, so I compile it first. Control CXP, let's set the breakpoint. Now I can go back to my to the rebel. Start. We can continue. We can continue clearing the breakpoint. We can step. Just make a few step here. Let's go to step. Step two for that location. We can step back out of there. Let's go back up to point. Start on our locals. We can continue. Okay, and we're back at the, the rebel. So we have a breakpoint now, uh, we can uh, go to the slime selector window and there's a new option which is begin to invert from to B, which lists the breakpoints. So let's go to the, the breakpoints, map the file name there, take the actual SMAGL information which is the, when it was suspended in the, uh, the uh, uh, when it was active. So I can go to the source window by pressing B. I can enable the view or disable the view. And I can then use it with uh, K. <coughs> uh, also worthy of note is the, uh, the thread window. Back to the slime selector and T. Okay, that's about it for now.